Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths Oval. This is the Applied Practice Paper F. Here we're looking at question 9, a variable acceleration question. So a particle P moves in a straight line at time t seconds. The displacement S in centimetres from a fixed point O is given by S equals 1 over 6, 8t cubed minus 105t squared plus 144t plus 540. Find the distance between the points at which the particle is instantaneously at rest. So when a particle is at rest, the velocity of that particle is zero. So that's the important bit for this question. What we're going to need to do with our displacement is differentiate it to get our velocity. And from our velocity, we need to differentiate that to get acceleration. We don't need to do that in this question. Remember, we can always go backwards as well if we need to, to get um by integrating. So the key to this question here is knowing that we need to differentiate our displacement to get our velocity and we'll set that equal to zero. So in this question here, differentiating this, remember we reduce the power by one, take away one from the power, it's going to be 24t squared over six, uh, take away 210 over 6t, plus 144, uh, remember that t to the power 1, reduce that power by 1 and you get 0, t to the power 0 is just a 1, so we can effectively just write this as 144. Now this thing needs to equal 0, let's tidy it up before we do that, so it's going to be 4t squared minus 35t, so this is over 6 as well, um, plus 24 equals 0. Uh, solve this uh, quadratic equation and you're going to get, well, let's factorise it first, 4t minus 3 and we're going to get t minus h, so just doing a bit of trial and error there. We'll get 0, so t either equals 3 quarters or t equals 8. Now what we have to do now is because we're finding the distance between the two points at which the particles are instantaneously at rest, this is the time at which they're instantaneously at rest, now we need to find the displacement from a fixed point O at both of these two times. So plug in three quarters into this equation here and we're going to get 98.7185 and the displacement after eight seconds, ooh, we get a negative number here, minus 155.33 recurring. So if we think about from our fixed point O, we're going to be at this point here, let's say it's coordinate A and B, we're going to be at this point here, A, at 98 uh, centimetres, and then we're going to go backwards um, from our fixed point O back to point B at minus 105. So the total distance in this case here between point A and point B is going to be 98.71875 add 155.3 recurring, which gives us our final answer of 254 centimetres uh, distance. Okay, so that's seven marks for that question.